Hello guys, how have you been? My name is Amel and I'm back with a new series, the interview preparation series. This is gonna get you ready for your job interview as a programmer. If you wanna get a job as a coder, uh, you have to pass the coding interview, uh, which can be very challenging. But I promise that with these videos, I will make it clear. I will explain all this as easy as possible. So the first problem we're gonna talk about is the two sum problem. So they give you an array of integers and they want you to return the indices of the two numbers such that they add up to a specific target. So for example, if they give you this array, they want you to find two numbers in the array that when you add them up, you get nine. In this case, two plus 7 add up to 9. So they want you to find the indices of these two numbers. So that would be the number at position 0 and the number and that would be index 1. Nums of 0 plus nums of 1 equals 2 plus 7 equals 9. So you will return 0 and 1. So when you think about this, there are multiple solutions. And one solution or the the most inefficient solution is the brute force solution. And that would be having two nested loops, two for loops, one nested inside, inside another. And then you would compare every pair of elements. So you would have two nested loops and you, you would compare every pair of elements and until you find those that add up to, to the target. But that would be inefficient, that would be quadratic time. A more clever solution would be to sort the array. If you sort the array, then uh, in ascending order, you can have two pointers, one pointer at the beginning and one pointer at the end of the array. And each time you compare if the sum of these two numbers is less than what you're looking for, then you increment the left pointer. If the sum is greater than what you're looking for, then you decrement the right pointer. And that would take n log n time. Uh, because uh, you would have to sort the array. But uh, there's another solution that you can have here. And the solution is using a hash map. As you know, the hash map is a data structure that allows you to look up elements in constant time. And um, it gives you the, the ability to, to store a relationship of key value pairs. So you can store the value and its index in the hash map in every iteration, you can check if you have seen a number in constant time. So we can go through the array from left to right. Each time when we see a number, we check if we have seen the other number that we need so that the sum is nine, uh, so, that, so that the sum is target, is equal to target. And we can do that in constant time. So without further ado, I'm gonna write the code to show you how it works. So, an array of integer result because the value of new array of integer of size 2 because as you can see we need to return those two indices in an array then uh, to follow good convention I'm going to initialize the first element in the result to be negative 1 and the second element to be negative 1 as well and now I'm going to check it's always good that you check uh, that you validate the input so I'm going to check if the reference equals no or the array nums is empty then I know that there's no solution possible so I can return result then I'm gonna make a hash map from integer to integer map equals the new hash map from integer to integer so now I'm gonna go through the array from left to right, zero i is less than norms dot length plus, plus i, and I'm gonna check the other number that I need, value of the target, what the number I'm looking for, minus the number that I'm looking at now, so. Have I seen the other number that I need? I can do that by checking in the hash map. So I can say if 
the map contains the other number I'm looking for, then I know that I have those two numbers and I can get the indices in the result array. So sub zero gets the value of map that gets the index of the index of the other and result sub one is the index I'm looking at now and I can just return the result array if if I have not seen this number before, if I haven't seen the other number I need, I just have to put it in the map. So I put the number I'm looking at and its index. Finally, I return the result. So we're going to see if it works. I'm going to run the code. And as you can see, it works. I can see that the output that I get is 0, 1 and the output that it is expecting is 01, so my solution must be right. Okay, now I'm gonna submit it. And as you can see, it's successful, and it runs very fast. It runs four milliseconds faster than 99.53% of Java online submissions. So this is a very good solution. It is very optimized. And as you can see, I, uti I, I utilize a hash map. Um, I go through the array from left to right. I, I am whenever I see a number, I check if I have seen the other number that I need, so that they add up to the target. If I have seen it, I just get the the index of the other number and the index of this number, and I return what I was looking for, which is those two indices. If I haven't seen that other part, that other number I need. I just put it in the map uh, to check in the future. So this is the first problem. This is two sum, a very famous problem. Um, this is my favorite solution. And later I will make another video to show you another solution that is also important to know. Uh, so thank you for watching. My name is Samuel Peralta. Um, please don't forget to subscribe. Please support my channel and happy coding.